and uh, we're a husband and wife art team called Gillian and Mark. Collie's actually done something quite extraordinary and they've put together um, a, a new um, regional, regional gallery? Regional, city gallery, yeah. Yeah. city gallery, which meeting the people here now we just realise what an endeavour and, and what a huge accomplishment it has been. Um, we're here because um, we're very, very fortunate that we're going to be doing a, um, a new landmark uh, bronze sculpture, which is five metres tall, at the entrance of the, uh, the gallery. Mm, so we're very, very excited about that. Uh, so we, we were here to discuss the designs and uh, we did that yesterday. We all sat around a round table um, and we all threw ideas together and we've come up with a beautiful design now, which I'm not going to disclose because I'm not sure if it's a secret or not. Uh, but we're very, very excited now to be working on this for the next eight months. Um, and we hope that it will be a magnificent entry point to the, uh, the uh, beginning of a wonderful new gallery opportunity in Collie. Mm -hmm. I think also which is, which, is, which is so cool for us is that we very much like working with communities. And um, one, of, one of the thoughts is how can, how can art change a community or inspire a community? And it's really sort of working with, that, with the community and a group of people to understand um, what they want out of it and then for us to be involved in the ideation of that to create something um, meaningful. And we, we had a great experience yesterday sitting down with, with the committee and I think there were like six of us. And I've got to say it was, was truly a collaboration of, um, of many different ideas that all came together. Um, and they're, they're really good. Mm -hmm. And sometimes as an artist you get quite protective of the idea and you go, no, 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 it, it's all my idea and, and I don't want anyone else's involved in it. Um, but then sometimes something special happens mm. where ideas flow in and the artwork becomes um, better and also it becomes a product of many minds and so there's a lot more ownership mm. and, and meaning to it. And I think that happened yesterday. Yeah. Cool. What, what is the power of art in a kind of community context? Um, it, it's, it's a very, very good question and we consider ourselves um, we consider our, our, our sort of, sort of uh, I, guess, I guess, public artists in the sense that all of our works are displayed for the public to see outside sort of galleries. And it's very important that in that case, it does have an impact on, on the community. Um, we believe that a, a piece of artwork has, has to get noticed, has to have attention. The worst thing in our, our, our mind, a piece of art fails when it's, um, it's ignored. So whatever we do, we want it to actually be seen um, and, and in many ways actually increase the environment, um, bring people's attention to the environment and enhance it. But I guess the most important question is how, what is the power of art and how, how much can art do to really change lives or inspire? And that's a question that Julie and I asked ourselves about six years ago, wasn't mm -hmm. it? So we, did, uh, we decided to collaborate with the Red Cross Blood Service um, and we did um, an exhibition with them um, that toured around Australia of 12 um, people that were fighting for their lives and waiting for an organ. And the aim was to increase um, the awareness for organ donation. And we painted the, these people that were waiting for their organ and on, you know, at death's door uh, with the wish of what they would do once they had received their organ. So, for instance, uh, one of the ladies who was waiting for a new lungs, she said her dream was to run again, so we painted her holding her sneakers. Um, and there was another um, chap who was waiting for his kidney and we painted him. Um, and he said his dream was to dance again, he hadn't been able to dance for 10 years. And we painted him dancing in his favourite dance um, pose. And um, the exhibition toured around Australia, and I think out of the 12, I think eight or nine received their organs, and we had an amazing response, um, and people signed up to the organ donation list, and it was probably one of the most powerful things we've ever done. And, and to see how art really could make a difference, that was, that was the time that we saw that happen. Yeah, I was kind of just, uh, and I just sort of one step further from that. I guess when we started out, we asked the question you just asked us, what is the power of art? And obviously power can, can make an impression, it can inspire you, um, it can make you laugh, it can make you smile, it can make you think. But then we said, I wonder if art can actually save lives. You know, that, that's a pretty mighty order. And so Life Can't Wait mm. was really, I guess, um, our endeavour to answer that question. 
And as Julie said, um, it definitely saved lives. It mm -hmm. saved the lives of those people that we um, were did. involved with. It got yeah. them their organs. Yeah. Sadly, two people didn't make it. But um, still, that was um, mm -hmm. way better than the odds that we started out with. We were all looking at the death sentence. What, what would the world be like without art? You're asking tough questions. Isn't Sorry. It? You're asking the big questions, aren't you? What would the world be like? Um, okay, um, here's, here's a poet way of saying it. What would a human be like without a soul? There you go. Uh, so it's like, uh, I, guess, I guess if um, technology is our brains, then, then art is our, our heart. And uh, it, it's really, the, I guess it's what makes us um, human. It's what makes us, gives us expression. It's what gives us um, emotion. It's, um, it's all the other things that I guess the sciences um, mm. Mm. Don't, don't answer for us. And uh, you take away art, and I think we've got a, um, a very, very bl bland, um, definitely a very bland society. And a lot of people do feel intimidated, to, in, you know, or feel like they need to know about art in order to go into a gallery, but we're saying, no, bring it out onto the streets, it's for everybody. I think that's very, very important. So like Mark says, even though you have a gallery, it's still nice to extend it to the streets and bring it outside. Yeah, so, so think of it this way, um, is rather than the gallery is a, is a door in, mm. um, have it's the, just the beginning. Have the, the gallery mm. as a door open where the ideas will flow mm. out mm. into it. That's what you really want to see it as. Mm. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a place of creation and, and um, expression, and it's going to flow out into the community. But the mindset is it can't be um, you know, a one-way door. You don't, you don't go in and stay there and that's it. Mm. The, the ideas have got to come out of that. And I think part of having your workshops and having visiting People artists and having all that, yeah. getting, getting it out is really, really important. So there's no division between art and, and the community mm. because it's with you, it's surrounds you, mm. you're aware of it. Mm. And what that, um, what that does do, then it reminds you any, any moment during the day that um, art is part of you and it, it does inspire you. Mm -hmm. um, what's the role of an artist? And uh, our response is that um, in all other walks of life, there, there are a lot of rules and ways to do things and not ways to do things. If you put your hat on as an artist, and that's also allowing yourself to imagine, the rules go out the door. And so you're in the position to actually say, I can change, I can challenge, I can create, anything's possible. And so the role as a contemporary artist is actually to accept that and, and then make it happen. And why it's so important for it to start in the arts is because the rules aren't there. Now, if we don't do that as artists, there's no way to lead or to be the beacon or to inspire others because we're saying, well, we can't do it. What chance are you going to do it in, in law? What chance are you going to do it in politics? What chance are you going to do it in anything else? So, as contemporary artists, we have to use our imagination. We have to basically push boundaries. And, and, and the quote we say is that we pull apart the world and put it together in a way that hasn't been seen before. Um, that's imagination, and that's causing change, and that's inspiring others. So that's kind of our, our job. Awesome. And um, a final message for the uh, people of Collie. It's wonderful what you're doing, and I'm sure it's going to make open so many new doors and. It's going to change the whole feeling of this place, I reckon. But I mean, that's because we're artists and we love art, so what you're doing, you know, we're behind you all the way.